In this video, we're taking a closer look at how to add Google Drive content to our playlist. Keep in mind that we offer two methods for adding Google Drive. Google Drive can be added to your library so that you can use individual images from Google Drive. Google Drive content, which is what we're looking at today, can be added to a playlist so that you can play back all images from a chosen folder in Google Drive. Let's head over to Google Drive. In this example, we have a Google Drive account with just one folder. If we open the folder, we'll find nine images. These images are the content we'd like in our playlist. Let's jump back to playlists. Let's add a new playlist. We'll call this Google Drive content. Let's open the playlist. We'll find the Google Drive plugin in the top menu. Let's authorize the plugin. Then, Google is going to ask us what account we'd like to use. Google is also going to ask that Play Digital Signage get access to our Google Drive content. In this pop-up, we'll have the opportunity to choose any folder in our Google Drive. We're going to click the folder and then select. Let's maximize the plugin to cover our whole area. And then, let's open up slide settings. It's important to remember to set the slide duration to match what we are trying to accomplish. If we have multiple slides and the slide is set to 10 seconds, only 10 seconds of the Google Drive content will be displayed. If we're looking for just one rotation of the content in Google Drive, we could set this to 90 seconds and then set the play each slide to 10 seconds in the plugin settings. In this example, we'll run just this one slide, so let's turn on play this slide forever. In the plugin settings, we have a couple of options. We can set the duration between each slide. We can change how images are sorted. We can add a transition and adjust the transition duration. The refresh interval is standard set to 60 minutes, meaning the plugin will check for changes every hour. In this example, we'll drop it down to one minute, but this should only be necessary if it's important that new images are displayed frequently. Let's see how this looks on a screen. Every slide is displayed on the screen for about five seconds each, but what you're seeing here has been manipulated to shorten the video. Let's jump back to Google Drive. Let's add a couple of images to our Google Drive folder. Notice that the two images that we just uploaded to Google Drive are automatically added to our content. Let's go back to the editor. In the plugin settings, we can change the Google Drive folder, but since we only have one folder, We'll leave it like this for now. Thanks for watching.